Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. So before I actually go and do anything, I uh, just wanted to mention the next boss I'm going to be fighting is Doom Gaze because that's what everybody voted for on the Insane Difficulty thread. So just wanted to show off my setup for the moment and you may notice that this is a little bit not what you were probably expecting. Cyan sets are, are completely stacked for offense, obviously, and if you notice, an arrow would pretty much wipe my party. It would kill Cyan and Setzer pretty much guaranteed, and Gao might dodge it with his 38 M block. Those guys don't have much M block to note. So that's why I have some preparations to do beforehand. I guess I can show you my espers too. It doesn't really matter. I'm not summoning any of them. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that here so that I don't have to redo this part. Uh, well, that didn't go quite as nicely as I thought it did originally. Whatever. This isn't going to be too bad, hopefully. Just as long as that doesn't happen. There we go, finally a battle. So now, first of all, I need to wait for Setzer's turn here, because it's kind of important to what I'm doing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I hate region. It sounds like it really interferes with me hearing my cursor moving. Alright, so hopefully this works, but it's kind of hard to tell. It, tofus aren't too bad. I like them better than the uh, bogeys that can use... Uh... Oh, nice! I definitely got them that time. Lucky how my uh, turns worked out there, because I happened to be sitting on Cyan when he got stoned, so... Stone... Setzer. Alright. So hopefully this works. Meanwhile... Okay, this is Edgar. Auto crossbow. I should have some time. I won't set Gao raging just yet, though. I know Edgar doesn't do much damage to the Tofu, so he'll just slowly whittle them down. Okay, I'm not hearing Setzer come back up, so I'm thinking he's probably stoned as I intended. One, two, three. So let's finish them off with Brawler. So basically, I'm going to need to whittle down Doomgaze's uh, HP for the first part. Because uh, I can only whittle it down so far before it becomes useless to whittle it down any farther, and I have to do the entire last bit in one go, which is mostly what I'm setting up for. But uh, I've got to make sure to prepare first by whittling down his HP as far as I can get it. However, to do that, I also need to do some preparations beforehand, but that's not even what this mini-soda's about, because the I'm basic in this mini-soda I'm pretty much preparing for those preparations I'm going to be making in the next mini-soda, so it's kind of like preparation-ception here, <laughs> in a way. At least I'm fairly confident this time that I petrified my characters as intended, although then again I was fairly confident last time I did the same thing, but... <laughs> These guys don't even throw out much damage. They're mostly defensive tanks, which is pretty much exactly what I want right now. Something that's not going to interfere with what I'm doing, and won't die, stupidly. Now that I think about it, my dumb rage that I picked last time might almost be on par with Brawler, just because it got rid of all their blasted region that they have going on. Unfortunately, they can also slow me down, which is probably making this longer than intended. I'm almost thinking focusing on one with the chainsaw would be a better strategy than uh, hitting them all with the auto crossbow and then having them region out of it, but I'm not sure we're, it's worth changing it up at this point. There goes one thing. Yeah, I probably nailed that one with a stone more than the others, so nice. Oh, what? I figured there would be more than that, but... 
Maybe there's another encounter I'm not aware of around here or something. Take a step left onto the airship, and that's that, hopefully. Alright then, so now on for part two. Alright, gotta run up just far enough that I go into the doorway without going back. There we go. So I'm in the second room like I want to be in. So maybe you've already guessed what I'm actually planning to do here. Uh, I'm looking for a double Orog battle here, because I want them to zombify Cyan and Setzer. Both Gao and Edgar have ribbons, so they're fine. They won't be zombified. I just need to make sure that Cyan and Setzer are zombified first. Alright, so this is Gao. I'll keep switching until I get to it. Well, that didn't take very long. Dang it. Uh... Yeah, forgot that my cursor is still in the other place. Um, so, down to auto crossbow. I'll wait until that goes off. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, I gotta switch to Edgar again. D I hope both of those didn't hit Gao, that would just be really, really annoying. So I'll use a dried meat on him for the moment. True dried meats for every cro auto crossbow is my expectation to do. Come on, stop throwing those around, because I just need Gao to escape. There we go. Alright, so hopefully, uh, Setzer and Cyan start getting zombified. Now, the reason why they're petrified first is because that makes it a lot easier to zombify them in sort of controlled circumstances. Because now they can't start killing things. They can't start, uh, dying. They can't evade the zombifies, so this is actually just great. Alright, so back to tools. And I auto crossbow again. So my hope is that they'll just be zombified by the time I get through killing these guys, because killing these guys is gonna take a while anyway, so I know that Sensor has the re I mean Edgar has the reflect ring, so all those holies are just hitting my petrified characters. And or Gao. Not that he's there anymore. Stop using Holy, I want you to zombify my characters, but he's... <laughs> At least I know they're probably not killing Edgar, that's a plus. Edgar does have 192 defense, but there's so many attacks getting thrown around like now, right now that they can, they can really add it up if I'm not careful. So I've done two auto crossbows. I have not heard very many zombites so far. I heard that, but that's probably just a zombite counterattack. I heard that on the left side, so it's supposed to be a side attack or something. I'm not exactly sure whether that's exactly a good thing or a bad thing, but... Uh, dried meats on yourself. I can't start to zerg rush them until I get to the fourth auto crossbow, probably. But then I can probably do 4, 5, and 6 in quick succession, but right now I'm not at all certain that those sets are in Cyan have been zombified, so... I'm going to heal once more after the 4th auto crossbow, and then Zerg rush them. It's also a tiny bit safer, but I'm not sure... I bet the odds of Edgar dying are pretty low.
so this should be auto cross before. That holy is really starting to get annoying. It's not even like it's actually dangerous in any way, it's just... It doesn't accomplish my goal and it takes a long time in terms of animation, so... I hear another one. Uh... So keep healing yourself, Edgar. I know Edgar's on the right. Um, I don't remember where the second and third characters generally are. Well, I guess Edgar's second character, so he's on the right as well. Which means Cyan's probably also on the right. Setsu's almost certainly zombified then. It's just that Cyan may or may not be. Alright, so I'm going to Zerg Rush them at this point. Hopefully everything works out for the best. That's probably just a counter-attack, so it doesn't mean anything. It's probably also counter-attack. It's too bad I can't really get region on him right now, because I don't have region X, and... Region bounces off his Reflect, and I can't equip the Life Fell because I don't have the Relic slots for that. I need a Ribbon to protect against Zombie, and I need the Reflect Ring itself, obviously. Because dealing with Holy is much more important than having Region. Well, they're both dead. So let's hope that all worked out for the better. I got lucky enough that uh, the Zombie... The Arag encounter showed up right away, but... Skills... It means nothing if they didn't zombify everyone. Magic... Ah, well, they messed that up somehow. Oh wait, that was probably items. Uh, skills... Nope, I'm not sure. Okay, that's save. Okay, so that's items, so dry meat sets my cursor, skills, magic, warp, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Alright, so for the moment of truth, I'll just look at it here for convenience. Yes, they were both zombified. Edgar only has 250 HP left, and Gal only has 200 as well, so they both kind of came close to dying, but whatever. This is definitely faster than the first time I did it anyway. Yeah, so let's actually start fighting the boss that this segment is supposed to be about. So, just line myself up to find Dune Gaze, put the blindfold on, and start going. So now I'll just fly around for a bit. I, li I really like this find Dune Gaze thing, it saves so much time. Because otherwise, this is a royal pain in the butt. There we go. Alright, so Gal will probably come up first. This time, let's actually try to select Defender. One, two, three, four, five. I selected Crawler last time. I'm not keeping that blooper <laughs> because it's too quick and too meaningless, but. And just have you jump. So, yeah. The strategy pretty much is that the zombies do a lot of the work while uh, the other characters just try to survive. And judging by the sounds there, uh, Cyan did the thing where he attacks Doom Gaze, but then the Wind Slash actually targets my own party. Which is kind of funny, but. Not really helpful, obviously, considering I want him to. Well, he did the opposite there. <laughs> Whatever. Oh no, Cyan got Condemned status! Jump for the skies, Edgar! Escape before Doomgaze does something that could possibly be dangerous. Oh, that would have been dangerous. But here he just fries himself for minor damage. Wow, Cyan with the reverse procs all the, uh, all the time. Luckily, Setsu's hitting the right target. Yeah, I was still going strong. Good to hear. 
Gao really can't be hit by much. He can't be hit by Condemned, Doom and Thunder moves reflect. The Wind moves uh, do nothing, which means physical attacks from Doom's Gaze and Setzer are the only things that make a difference. Okay, so that's part one. I'm just gonna take this off. And... Yeah, uh, I'll just call it there, and then see how much damage I did in the footage, because it's important to keep track of how much to know I don't do too much damage. Alright then, uh, 6550 damage, not a bad st uh, oops, I have to for a moment. Not a bad start, considering I forgot to put Setzer and Cyan in the front row like an idiot. Thankfully you can do that on zombies, so I didn't have to have them in the front row to begin with, but... Yeah, that would have that damage would have been a lot higher if I had have remembered. So should be starting up the battle again any second now. Alright. Yo. Hopefully that was not Edgar. But it wasn't Edgar. And it doesn't seem to be Gao either, because I heard uh cut down. So Appears I'm good on that front. Well, that was an arrow. Not that that did anything with Edgar in the air. I should have checked to see if Edgar took damage. I never even did that, but I don't think it's that important. Cyan attacking Doomgaze and not procking is the best thing he can do, honestly. Yay, Edgar escaped before the next attack. But Setzer is obviously the main MVP as far as damage goes. And Gao in general is probably the MVP as far as surviving. But Edgar could pull through too, it's not entirely impossible. Or ridiculous. But if Edgar gets hit by one arrow, he's in pretty big trouble. Thankfully he's in the air a lot of the time because uh, my zombies are wasting so much time attacking. Wow. He must have attacked Gao or something because that was a lot of misses in a row. Attack Doom Gaze, Wind Slash my party. At least the Wind Slash doesn't do anything to Gao. Okay, so that was probably more damage than last time. Am I getting close? Probably not yet. I think it'll take an entire third run for me to start getting close. So let's land it, and call this a mini-segment again. Run number three. At this rate, at the rate I'm going at, it seems like it's going to take four runs before I can actually finish them off. So, uh, <laughs> this one's going to be fun to edit, I guess, considering there's like four mini-segments. Well, five mini-segments already. It was still, like, three more to go, probably. Unless if, uh, Cyan and Setsa really haul their butts this time around. Alright, Gao, Defender, Jump. Nice, they got on before your Doomgaze even did anything. That decreases Edgar's chances of getting hit with Doom, which is good because, uh, Doom is most dangerous to him. He's got really low stamina, whereas Gao's stamina is really high, and obviously it's not doing anything to the zombies, so... Actually, it's starting to seem like he didn't use Doom at all, so... Whatever. Or, or it probably just missed with silently, that's more likely. Nice! Double hit. It's too bad that I can't uh, have him one-handed... I mean, two-handing the spear, but... It's just unrealistic. That's unfortunate. He got hit with that, but... As long as it's not arrow, that's more dangerous. But yeah, I can't have him two-handing the spear, because that shield is absolutely necessary for him to be tanky enough here. And he's not my main damage dealer, so... 
Not that you know it, because the zombies keep attacking my own party, but... And, of course, I guarded that double jump earlier. He is not lining up well with Doomgaze. Doomgaze is probably going to hit him again. Okay. Maybe that was Gao? I don't know. I was probably not feeling too good right now. Yeah, that wasn't super good at all. I probably barely got any damage off there. Maybe he's gonna even shove another mini segment on me, who knows. Yeah, whatever, I'm going for the kill now. <laughs> Forget it. Find Doom Gate. The really only difference that I'm going to be making in my strategy this time around is that I want to take a Luck Reliant turn at the beginning to cast Haste X, because that really does help a lot. Let's wait for this to come up. I want to get Gao's turn right away, but Gao can be very easily killed in this time, so I don't want that to happen. He hasn't used Doom yet, or it's already missed, so that's a plus, I guess. Alright. Go for it, Gao. Well, that's okay. Setzer can attack him. I'm alright with that, but Cyan's still pretty dangerous to Gao as well. Alright. Jump! And... Dang it, he wind slashed my team. Gao can barely survive that, which means if he gets hit by anything else... I think Doomgaze just attacked and did nothing. Good, okay, Gao's on his feet. Alright, so hopefully this continues, but he might have just attacked Gao there, which would kind of suck. He can do a lot of damage to Gao with the Man-Eater. Harvester? Well, if it, he did a lot of damage to Gao with the Man-Eater, Gao just undid it, so whatever. And he also healed Edgar as a free added bonus, which probably didn't matter because Edgar wasn't really hurt yet. So yeah, Haste helps Edgar because it helps him get in the air faster, so it's a big deal for him, and Haste helps Gao because it helps his region, and his healing for that matter, so... It makes a big difference for both of their survival. Holy cow, double jump plus proc. That's the best possible outcome. That's not the best possible outcome, but I'll ignore that. Still better than Setzer hitting Edgar, though. Setzer can do a ton of damage. That's the one scary thing about having uh, Setzer being a zombie, because he can really hurt my own party as well. I'm still hearing cutdowns, so Gao's still okay. Hopefully that was a Condemn Timer and not Doom. Dang it. Wind Slash on my own party. Oh no, I'm not hearing Edgar anymore, that's not good. Edgar died a little too quickly for my taste. At least Gao can only be hurt by physicals from Setzer and Doomgaze, but... I didn't want to be in this situation this fast, because Edgar does do some damage, and he's... He may not be as powerful as Setzer, but he's definitely the most reliable. I'm mashing A to see if I die, even though... There's actually no benefit for me doing this, considering I'm completely uncontrolled right now. But I'm alright with that, I don't need to have control. It's blindfold run, if I have control, I mess it up. Inevitably. So I just gotta hope Gao pulls through for me, even if uh, Edgar kinda died more quickly than I was hoping for. It's annoying, because I, I did an extra little test run where I just pretty much threw up haste X and then held fast forward, and yeah, killed him perfectly fine there. <laughs> no, no problems on the test run where it doesn't matter, right? Well, that was Doom. Doom's no big deal, obviously. 
Gao can't even do anything to speed this fight up. It's just Gao not dying, and then the zombies doing their best. Wow, that's a lot of misses. Cut down, doesn't matter. Physical attack, but it didn't end it, so who cares. At least the wind slash proc was on the left side. It's hard to decide whether to say left or right, because I want to say right is incorrect, but left is in left, so... If Gao were to actually finish him off, that would be a borderline kill steal, considering how weak Gao actually is. That whopping 250 damage. Most people would probably be having Science Spam Dragon right now. And honestly, it would be doing more damage, but it would be a lot more dangerous for him, because... He wouldn't be- he wouldn't like those, uh, condemned counters so much. Which is part of the problem with actually trying to find a cohesive strat for this guy. Because if I try to heal with Setzer without using Cure 2, he'll... Uh... He'll can trigger condemned counters sometimes. And I probably want wall rings on everybody, and... Yeah, it's just a mess. I'm sure it is doable to do it, it without a wacky and unconventional strat like this, even in the blindfolded challenge, but I'm too lazy, so there's that. Well, I've been talking for a while, so that's a good sign. It means that... But the thing is about this fight, it's either gonna go off of that hitch, or it's gonna go down really, really quickly, because the most likely death is Setzer Maul and Gao, and last time I mentioned it, Gao died, so let's hope history does not repeat itself. Nope. Waste Doom. Oh boy, cut down. Oh boy, proc on my own team. Okay, Gao's still alive. It's starting to get tense, because I know it's getting close to the end. If Scissor just attacks him a couple more times, I'm sure this is a, it. Cyan's not even too meaningful, it just matters mostly what Scissor does. Doom can't be anything at this point, because Edgar's dead, and Gao can't be hurt by any Doom spells, so... At least Doomgaze himself is unlikely to actually finish Gao off with an attack, considering Gao's healthy region and Doomgaze's infrequency of those. Okay, for the kill, maybe? No, not yet. <laughs> This feels a lot faster when you're holding down fast forward, but I guess that would be anticipated. Go Setzer, four more hits. Wow, still not dead. Also, it feels a lot faster when Edgar's actually doing something. Yeah. Good, keep attacking that left side. I'm getting a lot of luck with that. Holy cow. <laughs> Took another attack. It's almost too bad I... It's hard to inflict seizure at the beginning, which is unfortunate. So I leave set... Edgar's the one who wants the, uh... Okay, still alive. Edgar's the one who wants. Yes! <laughs> Kill steal by Gao! With the cutdown. Doom Gaze defeated. Alright, back on the airship. So take that off. Hooray! I mean, technically, I fought Doom Gaze on the airship, but I'm not going on that technicality. That would be ridiculous. So, that's the end of that segment.
beating Doom Gaze with uh, underleveled characters, bad equipment, and... Well, except for the stuff I had on Edgar, that was pretty good. And blindfolded. Yay! See you next time.